Apart from that, is another freaking water level! Except this one has the cool effect of that one level, where it's the shadow effect. However, when you come near stuff that produces light, that happens. Also, you can scare away these fish, and it provides light. That activates stuff like this, which will, when lit, disappear. Otherwise, those things will hurt you, so watch out. Like that. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Just go through this level, tread carefully. It's got the cool effect, but you do want to watch out for that. Also, there's lots of hidden goodies, so... If you can't find the lights, grab them. And here you actually require the lights in order to go through because of this. Yes, there's a giant fishy there. Who we wake from his sleep, and he's mad at us just because of that. But he leaves. He's no trouble to us. Also, we got these lights and these new uh, pork puff fish. When they're expanded, they can be... Uh, yeah, they're troublesome. When they're away, they're just like any normal fish. <gasps> EGs. So yeah, try and avoid those guys like that, and hit them when they're small. Did you just seriously destroy all the water? Oh well. Also hit those guys occasionally to get some light on things. Up here is where there's a secret uh, puzzle piece. Once I find my way through here. You'll have to spin in order to do that also. And yeah, this area is now a checkpoint, part of a snowmad base as we can see. Bunch of snowmads there. There's a secret uh, bonus area right up there if you use the uh, tusk there. Right there. With the helmet. I'm just gonna. Dang it! I'm gonna jump over him! And even die in the water part, that's the thing. in the snowmad base. I'm gonna use a peanut pop gun this time to stun the guy and kill him before he gets a chance. So yeah, use this enemy right here or that DK bell right there if you wish to uh, access that bonus. Me, doesn't matter. Uh, you also require that. Oh, and I forgot the K, so let me just go back and get it. Alright, so with that, we are back in here. I never even collected the K, that's the weird thing. I need to... Get to remembering stuff! And stop dying! He water. So yeah, as you can see, the jellyfish also illuminate their own lights too, which is what we're gonna use from time to time to access some of these areas. Very, very unfortunate though about the K. I can't believe I missed that one and completely forgot it. Otherwise, I'm having problems even remembering most of these levels. I'm gonna have to take a chance, a little look through of them just to make sure I know where the letters are. Wow. So yeah, apart from that, it uh, looks like a freaking underwater area. Just, you know, like the whole level is, yeah. Apart from that, we got these new little switch things, that's right. Passing by these switches will, uh, Activate the area, next area ahead for open the area ahead for a set time. There's a puzzle piece right there. I was just checking to make sure because I don't know where the calling letters are for some reason. So yeah, you spin to it, and it'll open that up. You just swim right through. Cause it only looks it only looks like a really small area at that point, but there's gonna be one area you have to go through, and it's a really long one. There is a calling letter in there, and you gotta watch out for that. That's not the only one, that's kind of like the startup example. The next one, I really well hid for some reason for me, is somewhere around... Where is it? 
Ah, there it is. The top right corner. Right here. I don't know why. I always found that hard to find. Even through my main playthrough. So yeah, apart from that, we have these bigger areas. You activate them like that, and go swim through as fast as you can. That's not the biggest area, though. Also, we got this little area up here, which if you grab them all, a puzzle piece will appear. So I'm just going to grab a bunch because I feel like collecting it and I need lives. But yeah, here's a bigger area that we need to go through. I believe this is the biggest area. No, it's not. The biggest area is heading to the right. This is just another area, which I had poor timing on that. Because you have to go through these jellyfish too, which aren't going to be affected by that. So yeah, go through it as fast as you can, you'll enter this barrel, you send it over there, and you shoot upwards, which will send you up and above the area that you were in before, to another snowmad base, where there's just a lot more stuff. This guy will also be your way of activating this thing right up here, so just use him for that. You can you collect all these and get yourself, I believe it's a balloon, so I'm just going to collect them all for that. That was a puzzle piece. Okay, there's a balloon up ahead then, or maybe this is a balloon. And I remember a balloon! There's the balloon! Balloon! No, oh, I didn't get it. Oh well, apart from that, just go down there. As you can see, there is a puzzle piece over to the left here. But, apart from that, we are going to ignore that and just keep on going because we've got this little loopy thing here, which is activated by the swimming fish. You can choose to activate the fish, which won't help too much, I believe. Or not. No! What am I- I couldn't actually swim! That's the one thing I hate about water levels. Okay, now I've got the balloon, I can come through here where these fish are. Not get caught again, I'm not trying that again. So yeah, as you can see, these fish provide a light, which you can swim around this area using them. As you can see over there, there's one area that's a little open. There you'll find a puzzle piece, so use that with uh, caution. And yeah, here we are in the final dash area. There's a lot of these, so you don't have to worry. So basically, just zoom as fast as you can through the area, but activating those while possible, and avoiding the stupid puffy fish. Oh, my G! <laughs> I didn't want to, have to ruin my gameplay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, uh... I'm not doing so well. All those deaths you saw. This is definitely going to be the island with the most deaths. To point out why I think this, because I'm currently an hour into this uh, recording session I'm in. Because I do a recording session every single uh, video. And every island is taking one hour, uh, taking a little bit over an hour. I'm like halfway done, and it's been one hour. So yeah, we're at area 8. I'll explain more after we enter the level, so... Okay, here we are, starting off with some base. Now, before I go on, I just want to point out something that... While I was actually recording these next two levels, uh, the... My program, my capture card actually crashed. And I had to redo this all, so... This part I've got recorded, and... And it's gone, so I pretty much know this level off of her, so I'm pretty much rush I can pretty much just rush to it. But from that, as you can see, there are these... Well, hey, it counts a lot of deaths, so I might as well give this. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. So, yeah, as you can see, there are a bunch of these little bombs up ahead, which will explode and set off little, like, little fragments in an X-like formation as they explode, so... There's also these little chains that you can break by spinning into them, just like those wood planks in the first world. Otherwise, it's just, uh basic level. The only way to get past this area also is by exploding one of the bombs and swimming away, so otherwise you are gonna kill yourself. Apart from that, we've got the K right there, and we caught this new kind of fish with the little, uh, sharp nose. If you touch its nose, it will kill you even if you're spinning. So apart from that, I'm just gonna keep swimming, hitting him from the backside like you saw there, we'll kill him. We are, So yeah, now we're entering this little stream, swim right past it with Jin. Diddy's jetpack, keep heading down, and yeah, a little quake happens that's starting to knock down these things. So we want to proceed with caution as they fall, 
Heading off to this next area. Yes, there is a giant octopus there. And it's going to chase us as we swim up. And it'll also bring its little tentacle, or giant tentacles, I mean, through these things. But yeah, the main reason we're actually trying to go up is because it's spraying ink right down below us. If the ink catches up to us, we will die. I will try and chill that ink by going really slowly right here, because I also want to avoid that. So as you can see, it gets darker. If you go in the direct ink, then you're dead. So yeah, we're going to want to avoid that. Yeah, the ink got really close there. But thankfully, at this point, I'm alive, no matter what I do, so get the O there. Yeah, we keep going off. As you can see, the octopus is still chasing us. It'll pop its tentacles through areas like that in there, trying to catch us with it. And, of course, kill us. I don't know why an octopus would want to catch a monkey, though. So yeah, it doesn't quite know where we are because it can't really see us, so we're just going to swim through when it lets us through. So yeah, the end here is then surrounded by these puffer fish, which you can take up for. And yeah, nearing the end, we can see the octopus has two more tentacles it's shoving up through there, whilst looking through these other two holes to see us. However, even though it's looking through us, it doesn't mean the tentacles really notice us. We can still go by them as if he never saw us. Yeah, continuing off, there's this little barrel right here we enter. And now you gotta prepare for the next, this next part here, because the octopus will be chasing you again. And it's not as easy. So yeah, as you can see, the, this time the octopus is showing stuff like that, and the G is right over here. So, upon getting all the Kong letters, yikes, as you can see, that was pretty close. We keep going. Yeah, but from that, you've hardly seen any puzzle pieces, I bet, right? Puzzle pieces are actually hidden and super tough to get places in this level, and it's just because he's chasing us. So yeah, apart from that, we are going to keep running away, because, like, with this guy chasing us, we don't want him to deal, we don't want to deal with him too much. We're also running, well, I'm running low on water, or er, air, there we go. Yeah, we got to keep on going until we can actually fight this thing, because we are getting annoyed with it, chasing us. If we actually keep head all the way up here, we'll actually be able to fight it. Apart from that, it's closing this. Yeah, so once we get through here, we can actually go up here and fight the octopus. How we do it is by knocking these three little things down, by shooting them. Hit him three times and he's dead. Take too long and he'll destroy the barrels and destroy us. As you can see by the signals just rising. Defeating him releases this barrel and we're done. And without many deaths compared to all the deaths that happened when I, uh, in the failed recording. So yeah, with that, let's get DK and get ourselves a law of balloons. Oh well. Well, I failed, but I got all the Kong lessons. Oh, well, back to the level. And yeah, yeah, as I already said, I complete this in the next level due to the failed recording, so these levels I'm gonna get to know anyways, but it doesn't really matter much for this level compared to the previous level, because the previous level I had died about how many times? <gasps> a lot. Just a lot. And this one I didn't die at all, so I mean, I didn't get all the DK letters as you can see there, but. I didn't die at all, so let's see if I can pull up that streak again. Yes, I am not getting the uh, the de the balloons from Cranky Shop, by the way. Thank you very much. I don't. I decided I didn't need them. But yeah, apart from that, we are entering a beachy area, and for once, this level actually isn't a water level. Instead, it's a level featuring these bombs. These bombs are going to be useful throughout the entire level, and also our greatest enemy. The level all focused around the bombs. Basically, we gotta use the bombs in whatever situation we can. Pick them up, throw them. And, yeah. That's it. Just don't pick them up when they're gonna lead to death. But from that, we got these hot hoots here, which are throwing these fires at us. We're gonna wanna avoid them. You can jump on them if you want. Otherwise, we're gonna have to get grab this K and just keep on going. But from that, we got these new guys with these, uh, hopping guys. I don't remember who they're called. Jumping on this little strange switch thing. That switch thing will, uh... Oh, I got a balloon there. How cool. Last time that gave me bananas. They all jump on this little switch in the background, which causes this thing to, uh, flip forward. So, that's gonna appear a lot. So, you're gonna have to watch out for those. As you can see right there. Eventually, there's gonna be some ones that appear, in which they will be able to, uh go really fast, so you want to watch out for those, like they just hop, every time they hop on it, they will activate it. 
So yeah, as you can see, they're only doing every two bounces there, which is kind of slow. But yeah, they can double their speed immediately with the uh, smaller ones there. Grab that. Grabbing stuff because I want still want to restore my health. And yeah, we got this other thing here. We got this thing, and there's our first example of that guy jumping on the same one. It's only used for the purpose of dodge of stopping those and hurting us as we try and jump by. From that, we just gonna keep going. Bombs are gonna fall from the sky, so we're gonna want to go after they explode. And now we're in an area where we need to wait and try and survive to make sure the bombs don't hit. Us, so we're just gonna randomly throw them off the edge, except for this one right here, which I'm gonna throw right over. Kind of failed there, but yeah, we're gonna need one right for this wall over here because that wall is in the way unless we blow it up. So yeah, after that we go off to this area, which is a very tough area where everything's falling down except for the roof. And yeah, as you can see, uh, same kind of area as we was in before with these kind of guys on those switches. But from that we got this hoots here. It's gonna throw fires, you can see right there on the thing. So we're gonna really wanna go fast, getting that in. Okay, so, uh, yeah, my program, it was about to crash again, so, right back to what I was talking about before, as you can see, there are these coins there, if you collect all the coins, a puzzle piece will appear in the center, yes, that's all I'm talking about, just a puzzle piece, now can we get going, thank you, right, now we come to this next area, where these guys will shoot coins, so we're gonna collect those coins as we go through, uh, a total of two from there. At least that's all I know you can grab. Nothing else I can grab. Yeah, apart from that, as we can see, now we got these guys attacking at a much faster rate. We want to go down here. Is it safe? I never really knew about this doing my main playthrough, so... Yeah, it just became a lot easier for me. So yeah, let's just keep going. Up there is also a bonus area if you wish to. That was just life for there. And yeah, as you can see, we got more of this stuff. There's the G. As you can see, the G is on the other side of there, and you have to, like, wait for that just to appear. Also, there's a little puzzle piece here if you throw this bomb right at this box right there. Pull this, too. So yeah, as you can see, puzzle piece. I'm gonna grab this because, just because. Apart from that, we... Ah, I'm disappointed. Apart from that, I'm... That was a close one. Yeah, so we're going to get through here as the guys, like, swing them really fast. We want to avoid them. Thankfully, as this goes down, uh, we're more safe. Yeah, but then we got to deal with this big bunny here. This big bunny is chucking bombs just like those uh, penguins. Kind of reminds me of a hammer bro sort of in a way. The way he, like, fights. You want to fight by chucking a bomb right back at him, based on his position. Try and do it from a distance and make sure these, uh... That thing doesn't hit you. Chuck him back at him, he's dead. If you do it up close, you will die, because it's an explosion. In my situation. So yeah, apart from that, you can see right ahead, the gold barrel is right there. You can see a bunch of all these red crates. We can smash them by ground pounding, but we're going to want to hurry, because if we go too slow, we will die. I'll show you why. As you can see, that the guy in the back is chucking the bomb there. If that bomb explodes, we die. So yeah, with that, we cleared the level. And got all the Kongwez this time. But with deaths. And that kind of makes me mad. 